the power. It's back. Yo, 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 what's happening? I'm back. Another video. I know it's been a while, but I've been busy, but I'm back. Today's topic, we're going to see how cheap can you go when getting certain equipment. It's going to be a series. We just take me a while to start this because it does cost me money to do this. You know, if anybody wants to sponsor me to do this, let me know. Keep watching these videos, man. Maybe if I can get up enough views to monetize again, I can keep these coming more often. So if you like what you see, subscribe and watch out for the other videos. And make sure you check out the other ones on the channel. Beat making. You got beat making, cooking up in the car, and tutorials. Back to the task at hand. This episode's topic, how cheap of a wireless microphone can you get and have it still be good? So let's see. Today's suspect is, boom, hopefully I got this up the right way. The Phoenix Pro PTU-71 wireless microphone kit. We're gonna see, is it any good? Is it worth it to get a cheap microphone set on Amazon? Let's check it out. Let's get to the unboxing. All right, here's the unboxing warranty contact information the back of the box because some people do want to see that specifications let me talk about this real quick with wireless you might have heard that some of these microphones are going to become illegal what that is some of these mics the ones that are in the 600 megahertz spectrum they're going to be illegal this one's 530 to 580 so this one's cool you'll be all right xlr output blah 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 all this stuff this is boring I hate unboxing videos, so let me get to the point. Let's open it up. <laughs> First off, too, while I'm opening this, I do want to admit, this is already better than I was expecting it to be. This is already going better because this is actually pretty professional looking. This is a nice box. Everything is in English. Just in my quick look over it, I haven't seen anything that's misspelled on the box. Until we got to here, now I'm seeing something misspelled. They've misspelled the name of their own company. But we're gonna let that slide because that's the price sticker. That might not even be the company's fault. That could be the retailer I purchased it from's fault. Got a nice little foam padding, protected. Got a nice little manual here. Look at the camera, make sure we're in frame. It comes with a nice little manual. The only thing I noticed too, I did order the one that has the one handheld mic and has one body pack mic. I was a little bit worried at first because as you can see on the box it has two handheld mics on the picture but as we can see when we open it up you know we do have a body pack and we do have a handheld so everything's good there so you know I, it's a good thing I wasn't presumptuous and you know to call to have them send it back because it was the wrong one so let's keep going here manual I am going to keep Don't that. We're going to take a look. I'm going to show you what this looks like so that you can see it. Rule. Thanks for choosing Phoenix Pro. We are startup based in San Francisco. That's cool. I like that. Is this get started on our journey to make sound performance better and easier? Thanks for being one of our customers on Amazon. We are glad that the product has arrived. If our product has indeed met or exceeded your expectation, if you would like to help in our mission to develop good product like this one, it would mean a lot to us. If you could take a second and share your experience with other Amazon customers by leaving us a review. You encounter any problems when using our products, our friendly customer service team will be here for you. Here's how we can connect and they give you the email, website, and they're on Facebook and on the gram. So that's nice. That's very nice. I actually do really like that. So then getting into what's in the box, just like it's shown on the Amazons.com description, you got yourself a headset mic right here. So you can put that on and have the headset. If you want to do like a little boy band, Britney Spears type of setup, or your piano player, you know, guitar players. Got your little body pack. I actually like this body pack. It's smaller than I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be big like the uh, old Shure ones. This one's actually pretty small and pretty lightweight. Feels pretty decent in hand too. Definitely is made out of plastic, but here's my honest opinion after doing this for a while. When it comes to pro audio equipment, 
I do not knock it anymore for being light because I, somebody has to carry the stuff around. So being light to me is a plus. So I like that. Here goes your little lavalier mic. We'll take it out the bag so you can get a closer look, see what it's looking like. This is a real mini XLR cable, so that's nice. So you can definitely probably upgrade this to a better mic if this mic turns out to be crap. But here's the thing though, with most of these, they're condenser mics. Uh, yeah, I doubt that this is gonna be fan of power because that would be asking a lot for the price that this is. So just keep that in mind. That's something that's kind of important to mention about that part. If you're gonna upgrade it to another type of a microphone, you wanna make sure it's a dynamic. So you're gonna be kind of stuck with dynamics, which is a non-factor for some applications. It doesn't really mean it's not the end of the world. Then a closer look at the headset mic. It's a little chintzy, but well, actually I take that back. I said it based on the looks. Actually feeling this and holding it in my hand, it's not chintzy, it's actually pretty sturdy. You got a nice little gooseneck padding. Same thing on this one as a real mini XLR on the end. It's not like a fake quarter inch or anything like that or a little eighth inch like with those on your phone. So that's good. Receiver, let's look at the receiver. Boom, let's take it out of the bag so we get a closer look. Boom, there goes the receiver. Nice feel to it, it's made out of metal, which is a plus over a lot of the cheap ones I've seen other people with on Amazon. I actually played a gig at a venue, believe it or not, and they had a cheap Amazon system in that venue. I'm not gonna say who it is because I don't believe in putting people out like that, but that one felt so plasticky and chintzy, I felt embarrassed for them. So they would really give that to musicians but this thing feels sturdy you can hear that that's an actual metal okay brushed finish metal on the face Ooh, a nice click to the buttons of course we gotta see when we plug it in when it's looking like the knobs feel good it's got a nice click i like that screen look at the back because this is important so you can see the io you see where your antennas go Standard affair, you have antennas for the wireless part. You got your plug-in for your power. Balanced A and B. And this right here is gonna obviously be going from this into your console, so that way you can hear it. Mix out. We have to look at the manual, but it was an RTFM on that one before I could tell you uh, what that does. So I'll get back to you on that in a little bit if I remember. But yeah, that's what the I.O. looks like on the back. And let's get to the microphone and start the show. Off the rip, it feels pretty good in hand. Like I've been saying about a lot of this. So right now, it's already a lot better than I was thinking. But until we plug it in, we're not going to know. In hand, this feels really good. A nice mic. It looks professional. It feels good. It's got a nice metal body to it. So that's real nice. Ooh, let me put it close so you can hear that click. That's nice. It's got a nice click to it. IR, I'm not sure what that's about. Like I said, we're gonna read the manual and find out. Real metal and a great, it feels nice in the hand. A nice size. It does look like it runs on store batteries. So the store battery part, I'll forgive them for that, for the price, it's not a rechargeable system, which like I said, it's standard affair too for wireless mics. Most of them use some type of store battery. So that's what that's looking like. Comes with a cable. Just to make an assumption, since this looks like a, uh, so this is a quarter wrench and the only quarter wrench output is that mix out. Maybe that mix out has something to do with this. We're gonna find out a little bit later in the later part. We have batteries. So this is a nice surprise. I like the fact that they include batteries. So I just wanna make sure I get that one right there. That's a very nice surprise. And let's just see what the rest of this is. Power cord. Standard affair, just the wall board, nothing special. And then your antennas, which also, like I said, they feel pretty good in hand. So, so that's the unboxing part. So we're gonna stop here, gonna read the manual, plug it in. And then the next part of this video, you're gonna hear me talking through those mics so you can see what they sound like. All right, so from here on out, the audio you're gonna be hearing is coming directly from these mics. You got this patched in. So let me do some talking here. Right now I got the body pack with the lavalier mic clip to my shirt. Got to do some bouncing back and forth. And at the same time, I'm talking on the handheld one. So let me do a little bit of talking about some things here. So I did, went ahead and did the setup. And let me tell you what I like. 
once again, I have to commend them because the quality of everything, it looks and feels good. I mean, there's little things that give it away that this is cheap, but it, overall, there's not too much to the, and, you know, your average layman who doesn't do this. And this set will really look pretty professional. And it feel and we, they hold these microphones. They're heavy, have some weight to it, and they feel good, especially with the uh, batteries in them. So that's that. Now, some things that I like so far with setting it up, I do really like something that's cool. So remember how it was talking about the IR? A little bit when we were showing you the mic, how it had that sensor. Let me cut in a clip here. You, as you can see, is these microphones, they have these little IR blasters in them. And what you do is you hold it up to that receiver there and you hit that button that says set there's a little IR signal on the receiver that goes out and that is actually how you tune these microphones and put them on the right frequency so that's really cool other things that I've noticed so far after setting these up I really like how there's really not a lot of self noise I was expecting to have a lot of self noise and a lot of hits I haven't gotten that yet now time will tell after I take these on the road and do a few gigs with them if that noise is going to start to creep in over time. So there will have to be a follow-up on that part. The sound quality, from what I've been hearing so far, it sounds pretty good. Nothing really uh, that sounds like an issue. Of course, you know, with a little bit of EQ in the mix, it's going to sound good and blend in with all your wired microphones and all your more expensive stuff. So I think everything is going to be all right with this one. So the body pack, there is going to be a part two here. I have another idea. It's going to be a follow-up on my other channel. So look in the description to go to my other channel. There's to be another one next week that what I'm going to do with the body pack. So these here are your volume knobs. I have the handheld mic on channel number one, so I'm going to turn myself back up slowly so that this way you can see that that's working. Other one is the lav mic. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to turn it down as I'm talking. And we're going to bring it back up. Very cool. Then on here, as you can see, you have different channel selections. So we're going to change the channel real quick and let you see what that looks like. We're going to do channel 3. What we're going to do is you hold this mic, like I said, see how there's this uh, IR? Hold it up in front of the uh, receiver. Hit set. And then you see just like that, you see how that screen right there, it changed it and changed the channel? That's so cool. I really like that feature. That's really nice. So my final thoughts on this system, first off, I would address this all my other pro audio friends out there and my uh, guys that do sound. I know, I know, I know, because you know, I already can foresee the crap that I'm going to get for buying a cheap set like this. But let me tell you something. These have a very specific and actually good purpose and place. But this is really good for what I would recommend it for. If you're just getting your first setup when you want to have your first uh, gigs, Go ahead and get this set because I actually so far recommend it off the uh, first impressions here. It looks professional, it sounds pretty good, and in the hand it feels pretty good. So, nothing would really give away that this is cheap, and it's not so cheap to the point that it's going to give you issues that you know you get with stuff that's really cheap. You know, it's not like dollar store or Fisher Price level and stuff, you know. So, that's a good thing. So, the other things too. I like the body pack. The body pack is nice and small. I've been cutting back and forth over this last part so you can hear the difference. At the bottom of the screen, I put in a little when I switch. So, as you can see, so you make your own judgment on the sound quality. I wouldn't read into it too much, to be honest with you, though, because, like I said earlier, with your EQ and your mixing, you can make it blend in with your different sounds a little bit better. But yeah, I do really like the. Uh, build quality of it because it's actually is pretty impressive for the price i also enjoy the fact that it has the ir sensors on it so that way you can tune the channels that's very cool i like the fact that there's low self noise on it you don't get a lot of hiss it's a little bit of feedback where i am par for the course though with any wireless system so you can't really kill it for that so overall that's what my recommendation would be i would say if you're just starting out and you're just getting your first gigs go ahead and get this system because that's what these are for i'll put a link to it in the description because i co-sign it with time will tell like i said if i have any trouble with this down the road i will make a follow-up and let you know but right now i'm enjoying it and this is a perfect system to be your first wireless system until you're getting yourself started this is going to get you up and running and then, you know, after you do five or six gigs, 
then you could upgrade to get that you know four thousand dollar short dlx system where you could get you know your uh, four channel receiver you get a couple of sm 58s or beta 58 makes that's when you can upgrade to that after you've done five or six gigs with these to save your money up but these i want to be honest with you the quality of them is so high off the rip I don't really think you need to. You can keep these around. This would be a really good backup if you're somebody like me who's already got more expensive microphones in your uh, cases and whatnot. So, yeah, that's my review of this. So, final closing thoughts. I'll wrap it all up and reiterate it for like the fifth time. I like these. They look good, sound good, feel good in the hand. And I would recommend them. So, to answer the question that was at the beginning of the video, is it any good? Absolutely. All right. Well, that's all I got to say for now. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, guys, that's all I got to say. Okay. I love you. Bye. -bye.